With the drawdown, you've heard stories about DRMO sales, salvaging, and various other means of getting rid of equipment, but AFN Arachleon came up with a way to destroy items and help out another squadron at the same time. Although some consider them obsolete, vinyl records are not easy to get rid of. When faced with the difficult task of destroying 11,000 of them, the method of destruction becomes an issue as well. AFRTS periodically has us uh, destroy records. It's normally 10 or 20 at a time, and we just smack them with a hammer, and that's it. But now we were faced with destroying 11,000 records, and that's a lot of hammer swinging. So we were thinking of some way that we could destroy 11,000 records in mass, somehow creatively. So we were sitting around brainstorming, and somebody said we roll over them with a steamroller, and that wouldn't work. And somebody said we burn them, and that wouldn't uh, be feasible either. And, and uh, somebody said, well, why can't we just shoot them all and be done with it? And all of a sudden, that was an idea, and we raced for the phones, and history was made. Many people ask why the station doesn't sell or donate the records. The main reason that we can't sell the records or give the records away is because of a DOD regulation. Uh, but the reason for that regulation is, an, is a long-standing agreement that AFRTS has with the music industry, which says we will give you programming materials at little cost or free in some cases uh, with the stipulation that you do not sell them because it is copyrighted materials. The security police had excess ammunition to deplete, so several station members, along with a few SPs, put on their Rambo faces and went to work. <laughs> After finally getting a bead on the target, the mission was underway. 1,500 rounds later, the job was complete, but never fear, there are still plenty of CDs in stock to fill the airwaves. After all, we do play the hottest hits.